Melvin Williams! All right, a comic of color. Ain't that a trip? Ain't that a trip? How y'all feeling? Everybody good? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. I'm happy to be out tonight. I'm happy to be out. Where the good looking people at? Good looking people that got a drink in front of them. Make some noise. Make some noise. Where you at? Where you at? Yes, yes, yes. Ugly people, hey, you, you blessed too. You blessed as well. Just as long as you know that you blessed, because hey, some clubs, they don't even let ugly people in, so they let y'all in tonight, y'all. So hey, sir, hey, you good. <laughs> you fine, man. nothing wrong. It, that's the kind of night we having tonight, man. They let ugly folks in. <laughs> I'm acting a fool, man. Like you said, my name is Melvin Williams, man. Uh, New Year's here, man. We start. I start reflecting. Kind of New Year's. Everybody doing resolutions. I just start reflecting, man. Start remembering stories my mom told me when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? My mom had. Me. I was born in Chicago, actually. That's how black I am. Detroit, Chicago, Atlanta. Yeah, that's, that's how black I am. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. I was born. I was born in the ghetto hospital too. Oh my God. My hospital ain't even there no more. I'm trying. I was born in the ghetto hospital. Yeah, 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 I was. I was. I was born in Michael Reese Hospital, Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. Oh, you see what I mean? Some people know. Oh, oh exactly. They had the case to tear that one down, man. Hey, I'm letting you know right now, my mom said they put her out after she had me. Yeah, like, right, right after she had me. Hey, I was born at 10.23 p.m. We was at the house by 11. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got the, we caught the tail end of Carson and everything. I'm like, <laughs> so we at the house, man. They got you out of there. I'm not talking about they need that bed. Ain't that a trip? That's, that's terrible, man. That's terrible. Yeah, man. I say how black am I, man? I, say, I went to my family reunion this uh, summer. Oh my God. Why, why didn't y'all tell me? I, I, why did anybody? I mean, y'all could have gotten a DeLorean and came and told me. You know what I mean? Like. I hate my family. I hate family reunions. I really do. Yeah, because I, I looking at me, you so I got I got just so y'all know, I got black people in my family, sir. <laughs> That's how you know it's not gonna go well in a family reunion. I'm looking at <laughs> Hey, a black family union is that's a totally different animal than the ones y'all go to. I'm telling you. Because it's always that one, it's always that one gay. You know what I mean? He gonna tear the whole family reunion up. You know what I mean? That drunk uncle, you know the one I'm talking about. Hey, he been drinking warm Hennessy out the bottle since 12 noon, alright? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. He about to ruin the whole family reunion for everybody. Yes. Hey, man, I'm letting y'all know right now. When I went to my family reunion, man, everything was good. My life was in order. I was fine. Everything was okay with my life. Hey, this fool had me going home in tears. Yeah, he ruined my whole life for you. He told me some stuff. Like, I'm talking about, then he got drunk and started telling deep, dark secrets. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff he was supposed to took to his grave, you feel me? I ain't talking about, like, no lightweight stuff like, hey, I ate your bubble gum when we was younger. Like, not, not that. I'm talking about like deep, dark family secrets. Yeah, yeah. Hey, by the time I left my family reunion, I found out that my mama was really my auntie, and a long lost brother I ain't know nothing about, and my real daddy was James Brown. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> no wonder I could dance my ass off, you feel me? My real daddy, James Brown, I ain't even know. Yeah, I gotta go to counseling three times a week because of this son bitch, he done ruined my life. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Checks in the mail. I hear you back there. <laughs> oh man, what else, man? Yeah, I'm, just saying, I'm happy that it's, I'm happy that it's cold. To be honest with you, I'm happy that it's finally got cold, man. Cause summertime, you know, it kills me. I can't stand riding with people. Anybody ride with somebody in a car, no matter how hot it get, they won't turn on the air conditioner. Anybody know about that? Oh, you pointed him out. Yes, he pointed you out, bro. Look, look, he knew it was him too. Like, yeah, I do do that. I do do that. I can't stand that. Turn the damn air conditioner on, sir. It's burning up hot in here. And I, hey, and guess what? I'm in the passenger side. I'm dropping all kinds of hints. I'm giving them everything I got. I'm like, ooh, oh, oh, Jesus. I'm sprinkling baby powder and shit on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to let him know it's burning up. <laughs> and what they always give you, they give you that same cheap ass excuse. Oh, I'm trying to save on my gas. I don't use. <laughs> That's what he's, no. Hey, I'm trying to save all my gas. I don't use air conditioning. I'm like, so what's the alternative then? We just gonna die, sir? Is that what it is? 
We just gonna burn up in the car just cause you don't wanna use the air conditioner? I don't know where we're on our way to, but you might as well drive this motherfucker to the cemetery. As hot as it is up in here, you feel me? So we hang around a while, you feel me? Man, I'm telling you, man. What else, man? Now that I'm getting older, man, I realize there's certain things I don't tolerate now that I'm getting older. I know y'all y'all like that too. Older you get a certain stuff you don't tolerate. Like like people putting you on hold on the phone. Remember that? Remember when you was younger, you let somebody put you on hold? And then you sitting on the phone like a jackass for 30 minutes? And they got you on hold talking to somebody else? Ain't that a, ain't that a trip? Hey, I don't play that. Now you got two and a half seconds for me. Yeah, hey lady, let me put you on hold real quick, man. Okay, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, click, son of a bitch. You can call me back, you know the number. You feel me? Yeah. Check is in the mail, I hear her, I like that. Yes, yes, yes exactly, put me on hold. There's one time though, there's one time that I will allow somebody to put me on hold. It's one situation. And that's if you call a business. You know, you gotta call a business and they give you that number, you number seven, you know, you gotta wait. That's the only time. But at least they play music for you, though. Yeah, you know them places you call them, you play music? Hey, I, I was on hold the other day, man. They messed around and played my favorite song of all time. Oh, it was my favorite. I'm talking about this is these songs for me. Like, when they came on, I was like, oh, I'm always in full concert mode whenever I hear this song. This song came on, I was jamming. I was like, so I'm never gonna dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. Though it's easy to pretend. I know you're not a fool. Should've known better than to cheat a friend and waste this chance that I've been given. So I'm never gonna dance again the way I dance with you. That's my jam. Give it up for that song. I'm trying to act like y'all don't know. Trying to act like y'all don't know that leave me up here high and dry. And then, hey, she had a nerve to click back over to my sir. I'm sorry, are you still there? I said, bitch, if you don't put me back on hold. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you disturbing my groove right now. What's wrong? You lost your damn mind. Oh. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Like I said, I'm getting older, man. Certain things just not the same. Certain things like, like I used to be like back in the day, man, like sex. Oh, man. Like, I, I used to like it back in the day. Now y'all can have it. Y'all can keep it. Like, no, seriously. I used to be good, too. I used to be good. Look at the ladies like, you? Yes, goddammit, me. I used to be good. <laughs> But now, hey, things is different now that I'm older, man. Yeah, yeah. I used to be like a sexy, like like a sex, like a sexy animal in the bedroom. Yeah, Woo! yeah, like a sexy animal, though, like a tiger, or a cheetah, or a puma. You know, something sexy. Yeah, yeah, something sexy. Leopard. You know. Now I'm more like a walrus in that motherfucker, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a good look in there right now, is what I'm trying to say. Oh man, remember your shit talking days, fellas? Remember them days? Yeah, back in the day, you used to tell your woman like outlandish stuff you was gonna do to her in the bedroom. Yeah, you used to like, girl, I'm about to break your damn back in here tonight. I'm gonna tear that up. I'm gonna fracture your damn uterus tonight. Remember you used to say stuff like that? My man. Hey, not me, not no more. No, I, re I realize nowadays in my state, like complete and utter honesty is the best way to go with your woman. Am I right, fellas? Yeah. That way there's no disappointment, you know what I mean? You just walk in there, right? I walk in the room nowadays, I sit on the edge of the bed, and I say, look here, sweetie, I'm about to do the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Hey, like Anita Baker say, I'm about to give you the best that I got. <laughs> and if that satisfies you, hey, cool, super, fabulous, awesome, superb. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep. And we can try this mess again next week, next week. Yeah, yeah I said next week, damn it, I'm getting old, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, 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 man. Where the ladies at? Make some noise, ladies. Where you at? Make some noise for me. Yes, I love ladies. Ladies are comedy to me. You guys are funny to me. Yes, I love ladies. Ladies. Any, anybody know that woman that think that a hot home-cooked meal can solve any problem? Anybody know that woman like that? Oh my God, yeah, really? That's you like, she think, I mean, no matter what it is, like she think a hot cooked meal just, she just trying to, every, every time, you can lose your job. You come in depressed as hell. Like, oh, oh, baby, what's wrong? Just lost my job. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, come on and sit down. I got some rice and gravy I just heated up for you. Like, Bitches, you crazy? I just said I lost my job. 
Well, no damn rice and gravy. You lost your mind. I don't, you're killing me right now. No matter what it is, too. Like, you could be waking up and get that call in the morning. Like, hello? Oh, my God, yeah. All right, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. She wake up with you. Oh, baby, what's wrong? Oh, yeah, mom is sick. Yeah, mom's sick. I got to... I gotta go on up, I gotta go on up, I need to fly on up. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let me go down here and heat you up some rice and gravy. Oh, bitch, I can cook. <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? Mom is sick. I don't want no damn rice and gravy. Are well, you killing me? Yeah, yeah. No matter what it is, ladies and gentlemen, just that one woman and think that no matter what it is, a hot cooked meal will solve everything. Yeah, you can just get shot. You come in the house, oh, Jesus, oh, hey, oh, what happened? What happened, boo? Oh, I just got shot. Yes, I just got shot. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just made some catfish and spaghetti. You want to just sit down? <laughs> did you just hear me say I got shot? What are you talking about? You know what? On second thought, catfish and spaghetti sound pretty good. Like, he, he, he me up some of that shit. I, oh, yeah. Hey, did y'all hear that? When you heard that, I was like, shit, he might need to pass up that wound. You feel me? That's all my time, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Melvin Williams.